There was a fear that as a public, investing public out there, you know, may not buy your shares because they don't understand, they have not seen Indian CEOs and you may have trouble selling the start or the uh, start market and this company was worth a lot of money and so everybody felt, you know, that, uh, you know, why don't we bring somebody here? So we, we used to be very, very mad, very, very angry, you know, why can we change the image and brand of India and Indians? And the only way you can change the brand of India and Indians is by showing to the world, you know, hey, we are as smart a people as anybody else. You can't tell people we are smart. You have to show it to them. He realized that in order to dispel such prejudice, it was necessary to create as many Indian entrepreneurs as possible. But, but you know, I have a hard work yet. You know. It was this desire that led to the creation of TIE and to Reiki's sharing of his business knowledge with countless others. Now, 16 years after TIE's creation, entrepreneurs who were guided by Reiki are in turn advising the next generation of young business people. Okay. So, okay, so it is a requirement. Nowadays, Reiki devotes himself to bringing the TIE network to India as well. Scores of successful companies operating in his homeland will, after all, lead to India's further growth as a nation. So initially, it was done to change the image of Indians in America. And uh, having done that, you know, you want to transfer that image to India also. And that's what we started to do about maybe 12, 13 years ago that uh, we are no different than other Indians in India. But for, for them to believe that Indians are uh, here, have the same capabilities that Indians in the U.S. have, you have to have the winners emerge. The TIE network is expanding rapidly throughout India. Thirteen new TIE offices have been launched there. Reiki and other mentors visit India frequently to advise young entrepreneurs. Today, he is speaking with a group of young men who hope to create a business based on digital pictures. They want to start their venture in both the Indian and U.S. markets, but Reiki has words of caution for them. That thing I got about learning to ride two horses simultaneously. It, uh, that's what you end up doing. It's, uh, it's a lot more difficult than than, than, than life. startups here basically take some time to understand the market dynamics, and then say, "Hey, what is that I need to do here to win?" So, but if you start to get you know, diffused in your thinking, and somebody you go more sharply here, and uh, yeah, so we tap Samir. In addition to advising entrepreneurs like these, TIE also works to make it easier for businesses in India to gain a foothold in the market. Specifically, they help with funding. Traditionally, state-held banks have monopolized the Indian banking sector. Even in today's post-deregulation marketplace, few banks are eager to lend to people just starting out. So, Ricky called on fellow TIE members to support young entrepreneurs financially. Those willing to provide funding gather to review the feasibility of business proposals. They all then contribute to fund successful candidates. Providing 50 million yen's worth of investment funding in a country where very little is otherwise offered makes this organization valuable indeed. Motivation is to see India transform. For India to transform itself, it needs to have a large number of entrepreneurs, creating a large amount of wealth, you know, more widely you know, rather than you know, wealth concentrated in the hands of fewer families. Now, many young entrepreneurs are heading to India. 
their forebears who succeeded overseas after long struggles assist them on their way. The wealth and know-how acquired by overseas Indians is now helping to speed the development of their homeland. You meet some entrepreneurs, really big winners, and everybody wins in that situation. You know, you know, the entrepreneur you know, wins, he creates a lot of job and a lot of wealth. So the you know, winners are emerging here, so it's becoming a lot more easier to believe. And the, the problems of India now, the problems of poverty and the pro problems of, of backwardness, are now seen in a different light. Overseas Indians are heading home in increasing numbers. In June, Conwal Reki, whom we earlier saw helping entrepreneurs, launched another new project. He has established an investment fund worth 15 billion yen for young people starting companies in India. So can we produce the next two dollar of India? You know, why should it, it, it all to be over there? You know, don't we have smarts? You know, and that's where I start. And uh, the, I, I want to be uh, here when that happens. I want to participate in that process. And I think our time has come. Thank you. He hopes the investment fund will help make it possible to set up larger venture businesses in India. Forty-one years ago, Conwal Reki decided to take his chances in the United States. Back then, India was poor, and he was not hopeful for its future. Now, Ricky says that every time he visits his dramatically changed homeland, he feels that the focus of the global community is shifting from the West to India. I come to India to feel the uh, energy. Uh, if, if, uh, U.S. the mood is downbeat. U.S. the mood is very downbeat. You know, there's a sense that uh, something has gone horribly wrong in the U.S. So, at the Time being, you know, the mood is very down, downbeat. When you come to India, you know, the mood is very upbeat. You know, lots of energy. You know, no, nobody is here afraid of tomorrow anymore. In this country, you know, you know, by the time, uh, you know, uh, you know, maybe around 20, 25, 20, 20, 30, you know, India will be definitely one of the top three to four countries in the world. Yeah. Twenty-five million Indians have left their home country to seek prosperity abroad. They have improved themselves, supported each other, and overcome difficulties in foreign lands. Overseas Indians are recognized by many as the brains of the world. Now, they are taking their rich experiences and boundless energy back to their homeland and helping to transform India into a global power.